men or women that have had X with a man with an abnormally large or abnormally small peanuts. What was the experience like? Hi Reddit guys. Subscribe now, or Google will block you. Dude had a little cone shaped peanuts, too big at the base and too small at the tip. The experience looking back was the worst. I was young and naive. Like trying to have X with an upside down ice cream cone. I have never had this conversation before. I've had X with a guy with that shape too. I don't remember the X so much as the shape. This is over 10 years ago mind you. He was on the larger side. 7ish I would say. But the shape isn't something I've seen again. Even in peen. For all the little peepees out there, just remember, a tic tac still hurts at 50 miles per hour. Abnormally large fellow dislodged my IUD, was temporarily crippled by the pain and had to go to the DRs to make sure it hadn't perforated my uterus. Wasn't exactly what I'd describe as fun. I have an IUD and this is terrifying. I'm not even that long and I've hit my wife's a couple times. Gotta be careful. Me and my wife stopped having X for a few months after I cut the hell out of my head on hers. You had a bomb in your vagine? Capital S. I lost my virginity to someone with a 9-ish incher. He was the epitome of having a big dong doesn't make you good in bed. Didn't try to turn me on. Didn't do anything but jackhammer until he finished. Couldn't even find my clip the one time he ever tried. All I really remember about that X is the overwhelming. Displeasurable pain of having him punch my cervix with his cock. I regret reading this thread. Dong is slightly too big. It hurt like hell. Dong is slightly too small. I literally couldn't feel anything. He used his size as a reason to not really try in bed. He never gave me opportunity to warm up. And even though I thoroughly enjoy super super rough eggs, he just thought ramming it into me over and over was the way to go. Lack of warm up and him just thrusting hard like no tomorrow left me sore and angry. Not a good kind of sore, either. My cervix hated me when I was with him. He used his size as a reason to not really try in bed. I've found that the larger a guy is, the less work he thinks he has to put in. But I've also had the reverse happen where a guy with a small dong was trying way too hard to make up for what he was lacking. His words. The dude would not stop touching my clit or tits. And usually that's not a bad thing. But damn dude. Too much. Seems like the same problem just expressed in different ways. Neither wants to actually listen to their partner and instead wants to be perceived as some sort of exil expert who intuitively knows what their partner wants more than the actual partner. A lot of guys feel like they need to be good at X. As a guy, I think this is, because a lot of us are afraid that if we're not good at X we can't get more of it, because she'll be uninterested to have it with us. Honestly so much can be avoided by talking like normal people. During X it felt great I guess because of the adrenaline, but afterwards I was doubled over in pain. It felt like my cervix had been drop kicked by Chuck Norris. I've been there. The pain the next day. Ugh. Chuck Norris drop kicked me too. Drop donged. I'm guessing this was from a small peanuts. We had to stop after 10 minutes. Small as in you couldn't come. Or big as in our owl. He was breaking my cervix. Death by unsuns. Techno music. Above average can be absolutely incredible. Especially in certain positions. That is until your cervix gets hit. I have my donut. It's a rubber ring, not a cock ring. The size of a donut that goes around my cock at the base and acts as a bumper so I can go to town without the cervix bashing. That is actually genius. You are a considerate big dong man. I thought you said you are considerate big dong man like it was his mother frickin superhero name. Oh, Mr. Big Dong Man. Can you get my cat down from this tree safely? Not to worry, ma'am. I know how to handle a pussy. Had a couple hookups with a guy whose dong was about the same size as my index finger. We only did blow jobs, but holy shoot. It was like someone trying to make me throw up by sticking their finger down my throat. Well at least his spontaneous boners didn't matter during his teenage years. It would just look like he was always carrying a baby carrot in his pocket for snacks. 
I was with a guy who wasn't vert well endowed. We were fooling around and he asked for a hand job. I went to put my hand around and found that my hand was larger than his fully erect peanuts. Similar to many others couldn't feel it when he put it in either. Oh geez. Reminds me of the first time I fooled around with a now ex. We were getting hot and heavy on the couch, lights off, and I'm feeling around for his dong, but can't find it. My hand searching around like a cartoon character searching for their dropped glasses. And the one or two times he topped me, I really didn't feel much. It wasn't bad, I just didn't feel anything. Had to tell him to stop about halfway in. Not fun when terrified of injury. We were in our 20s. He was a smoking hot virgin. He met a woman who could enjoy all he had to offer. 26 cm. Not long after our attempt and Facebook says they're still together over a decade later. I don't even know if what we did qualifies as X. He looked at me with a terrified are you okay look on his face and was met with my freaked out expression. Fun to look at. Scary to experience. 10 freaking inches holy shoot. They called him tripod in high school. 26 cm. Girth is great, but how about length? Was with a smaller dude. Like others here have said, felt nothing. Pretty sure most of the action was him grinding against my inner thigh. We were young, and didn't really know what else to do outside of just basic X. Nowadays I would ask for more attention, because regardless of size, you can still have good times if there's other foreplay and fulfillment involved. And I would assume most men go crazy at the thought of a woman giving them more info about what they want so the good times can roll for both parties. He was a good dude and an attentive boyfriend. We broke up due to being long distance. I don't regret it and I'd never make fun of a guy for the size of their sklong. It's not the dong that makes the man. It's the willingness to be an open and loving partner. It's not the dong that makes the man. It's the willingness to be an open and loving partner. I want that on my tombstone. This sounds like a strange invitation. Wholesome. Is everyone measuring from the same spot? From the a-hole to a couple inches in front? Is there another way to measure it? The butt cheek to the front. I usually start at my pelvis above the shaft and stop in Norway. I was with a dude who had a peen like a large deodorant can. One night we were doing the dance of the beast with two backs, and he must have bashed my cervix one time too many and I began to faint. I realized what was happening and tried to make it to the bathroom, not sure why. I thought I'd been pretty speedy, but turns out he had had to shepherd me along the 5 meter corridor, because I was all over the place, literally bouncing off the walls. I didn't even know he'd followed me. My roommate came out of her room to find me completely naked. Passed out on the toilet with my panicking boyfriend trying to bring me round, at about 1am. I eventually came round and kept frantically asking him to bring me my slip. He didn't understand. Bring me my slip. My slip. I was frantically trying to cover my bits and bobs with my hands to maintain some level of dignity. I wanted my nighty and had never called it my slip in all my days. I was so confused. The end. A co-worker of mine was talking about sleeping with a guy who was almost the size of her Comcast television remote. For visual reference. This is appropriate, because Comcast is definitely a big prick. Anyway, she said she tentatively touched it like Indiana Jones with the Golden Idol, and jiggled it about experimentally. It made a THP 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 sound like a water balloon. And it was so visually striking and distinctive that she wouldn't have been surprised if it had talked or sang a song. In the end, she incredulously asked him what he was planning on doing with that and had to frankly tell him she didn't think that was going to happen. Sometimes, I ask myself, why the hell did I google Comcast television remote now? A girl once told me that a L in my opinion is impressive, but it's not that fun to drive and is especially hard to park. A regular sedan might be less impressive, but much more fun to drive and you can park almost anywhere. So I asked, how do you feel about hatchbacks? Yeah, but I wouldn't want to be driving a sedan you could park in a belly button. Looks like I've got a smart car. My shortest X was actually the one with the largest peanuts. I don't know an exact side, 
but he had a very wide girth and was still decently long. We would have to use the vibrator on me first, because it was thinner, in order to stretch me out enough that he would fit without hurting me. At the time, I thought it was really good X, but now I'm with the guy that I know I'm going to spend my life with and turns out the big dong guy wasn't as good as I thought. Now boyfriend is still decently long as well so I'm a happy girl. You should tell your current guy that X with him is much better, because his dong is smaller than your X's. I'm kidding. Don't do this. Oh what's the worst that can happen? She plants the seed of ignoring, building insecurity that slowly swells. Year after year as he retreats from intimacy and even touch, their relationship slowly devolving into a dead bedroom until she catches him fapping to pictures of her ex while calling him daddy and then they begin an at times scary, but also surprisingly fun voyage through the world of cuckoldry. Bit of advice here lads. Either if you are truly blessed, lacking in length or just about right, go down on the lady first and get her rocks off before you go working your way in. After that if it's big, you'll fit the gig. If it's small, it won't matter at all. This is sage advice. I'd also add, a mowed lawn has a taller mailbox. A tree in the woods is just another tree. A tree in the desert. People stop and stare at. Okay reddit guys, subscribe now, or google will block you.